you're safe and well. So in today's video, I thought we could do a power hour speed cleaning video. So my kind of cleaning routine at the moment is every two weeks I like to have a deep clean. So I will dedicate a few hours just to really deep cleaning, believe it or not, where I'll do the bathrooms, the spare rooms, just everything. Thing going on at the moment and a lot of us spending a lot more time at home. I wanted to show you my daily cleaning routine. I'm one of these people that is kind of just a little bit obsessed with having a really, really clean home. So I can't stand stuff. I can't stand dirt. So I actually do do a little do do little cleaning routine each day. I mean, some days it might just be a really little list of three things like have a quick hoover, freshen up the sides and do the washing. But I just find by making myself a list and I personally like to do it in the morning, you can do this in the evening, you can do this at lunchtime, you can do this whenever you like. Getting yourself a routine of any kind will help you. I honestly live by routine and lists and being organised. I just think it gives me a bit of a purpose, you know. You know when you have one of those mornings when you wake up and you just don't want to get out of bed? Make yourself get up, make yourself your favourite drink, write yourself a list and I promise you will feel so much better. But yeah, having a nice, fresh, beautiful smelling home just helps my mind and it makes me feel cozy. And if I end up having a really unproductive day, at least I've done my cleaning. So get yourselves your favorite drinks, get cozy, get all the quarantine snacks. And I really, really hope you enjoy this video. First things first, as always, we need that little bit of extra motivation, which is caffeine. So I have been absolutely loving a coffee that went viral on TikTok. It's so nice and so easy. All you need is two tablespoons of instant coffee, two tablespoons of sweetener or sugar, two tablespoons of boiling hot water, and then you whisk it all up. You can use a handheld whisk, but it does take quite a while. It might be a little bit of an arm workout. And then you get yourself a cup, fill it with milk. I'm using the vanilla almond milk. And then pop your topping on and it is just the most delicious iced coffee. You guys will love it. Next up, music is absolutely essential for me during a speed clean. So I've chosen this summer playlist, which I found on Spotify, which was so nice to listen to whilst it was a nice day. Next, I'm gonna open all the windows, all the doors and let some lovely spring air in. Whilst I enjoy my iced coffee, I'm gonna make myself a list of all the jobs that I want to complete today. I ordered this Mrs. Hinch, the little book of lists from Amazon. I will link it below. And it's just so good. I love it so much. I love a list book. I love organization. So I usually just write maybe, I don't know, five to 10 things that I really want to get done today. Like I said, this isn't a deep clean. This is just something that I do each day and it really, really does make me more motivated and make me feel a lot more productive when I've got a little bit of housework done each day. So obviously each day this will be different, um, but I'm just gonna make a list of things that I really wanna get done today. The cleaning box has made an appearance. I feel so professional when I carry this around my house. So I'm just gonna collect all of the cleaning products that I need for today. So I'm gonna be using a lot of the pink stuff. I pretty much use this on anything, on the cooker, on the sink, on the sides. It is brilliant. Then I'm also gonna use the white vinegar spray, sometimes actually call this white wine vinegar spray. Um, clearly have alcohol on the brain. This is brilliant for anything glass, anything mirrored, anything chrome, just to give it a really nice shine. This is one of my favorite products and it's the Febreze Fabric Refresher. You can spray this on any fabric in your home, sofa, curtains, faux flowers, clothes, and it just removes any odors and gives it such a lovely fresh scent. Then we have our favorite Old Faithful Zoflora. I have chosen the scent Summer Breeze today just because it's lovely and fresh. And you guys know, I use this everywhere and anywhere. Anywhere I can put Zoflora, I will put it. And then I've also got some baby oil, which I like to use on the taps, 
on anything that's really stubborn to get a bit of a shine um this is brilliant but make sure that you buff it in really really well otherwise you're kind of left with a bit of a slimy residue which just isn't very nice and then of course i'm going to collect a few different microfiber cloths and i picked up these really cute ones from qd a while ago i thought they were cute you guys already know the drill i am going to light my favorite candles just to get the house smelling really really nice also i'm going to give my wax burner a clean um, this one is from Amazon. I'll link it below. It's so cute when it's on. This is so simple, but I feel like it makes such a difference. So if you have a bit of an old wax melt in there and you want to use a new scent or it's just lost its scent, simply burn it until it is melted. Then all you need to do is pop a few cotton wool pads in there and it literally soaks it all up. Then I just give it a good scrub with a cotton wool pad again and it will almost just like melt off. It's amazing. So the scent I'm going to be using today is an alien. Oh my gosh, this smells incredible. So candles are burning, wax melts are burning. It is time to properly get into the speed clean. So heading straight upstairs to do the job that I religiously do every single morning, but for the purpose of this video, I have saved it. So I'm going to let some air into the bedroom, open the curtains, open the blind, let some daylight in, and I'm going to make my bed. This always just makes me feel good about life. I feel like if I don't complete anything else today, at least I've made my bed, you know? <laughs> so I'm gonna make my bed and then I'll give it a spray with the Febreze fabric refresher. This just makes your bedding smell like fresh bedding every single day. It's so nice. So once the bed is made and the bedroom's feeling all fresh, I'm going to head downstairs with some washing. Now we've got some better weather, I'm trying to do a little bit of washing every few days. Um, just because there's nothing better than washing that's dried outside, it smells so much better. So I like to use the Surf washing detergent little tablets and I also like to use the Lenore Fabric Softener Incense Spring Awakening. These two together leave your washing smell really, really perfumed and just so nice. So once the washing is on, I'm just gonna declutter the kitchen and put everything in its place so I can give it a good clean. So for the sink, my favourite thing to use is the pink stuff and a scrub daddy. I simply spray this all over and then scrub any dirt off and then I'll use the opposite side just to get rid of any residue. I will then fill the sink up with two capfuls of Soflora and some hot water. I like to use the diluted Soflora water to go over all of the worktops, all of the kitchen cupboards. It just gives everything a really good disinfect but also leaves it smelling so nice.
friend, cleaning the oven is one of my most hated things. I hate these little circle things that you have to try and put back. It's like a blooming puzzle, but nevertheless, it needs cleaning. So I'm just gonna spray over the pink stuff, I'm gonna scrub any dirt off, then I'll remove it and dry the oven. Then what I'm gonna use is a tiny, teeny little bit of baby oil on a microfiber cloth because this just gives it the most beautiful shine. But the surface you apply the baby oil to needs to be like bone dry before you actually put any baby oil on. So make sure it's super dry. I'm then gonna do the splashback and the oven hood with the baby oil as well, just to give it a lovely shine. Next, I'm gonna fill a bowl up with some Zoflora and some hot water again with a big microfiber cloth in there. And what I'm gonna do is go over all of the door handles in my home just to get rid of any germs. I'm also gonna go over all of the doors. I do this every few weeks and it's actually surprising how much dirt doors collect. Um, so I like to go over all of the wooden doors. This again, just makes it smell amazing. I'm all about having a very scented home. So whenever you walk into one of the rooms, so Flora just hits you, it's amazing. I'm gonna give the kitchen floor a hoover. I'm using my Dyson. I feel like if you're having one of those days where you don't really feel like cleaning, but you want a clean home, you know one of those, just give everywhere a hoover. I think it makes such a difference, especially carpets. My life wasn't perfect, yeah, I know that now. When it came crashing down. So after I've hoovered, I am gonna mop my floors. I have a new favorite thing which is my shark steam mop i bought this from amazon a few weeks ago and honestly it's so good it's so worth the money you can fill it with anything you like of course i like to use so flora and i just go over all of my hard flooring and it's just so good so on hard floors if you have any of those really stubborn i don't know like stains it lifts them with the steam it's really hard to explain but basically you don't have to scrub like a mad woman you just put your steam up over it and it lifts off the dirt it's really really good and then the last job on my list today is just to rearrange my cleaning cupboard this has been getting progressively worse as the weeks go on so i'm just going to take everything out pop it back in so it just looks nice and neat so I just want to add, I didn't go out and buy all of these cleaning products because of lockdown. I have had these for ages. I actually worked with Esho a little while ago who very kindly sent me a load of cleaning products. So just wanted to say I didn't go out and steal all the cleaning products. So my loves, that is going to go ahead and conclude the end of this video. I can't even begin to explain how nice it feels to just have the doors open, let some fresh air in, listen to some happy music and just do something productive. I promise if you get out of bed, make yourself a list and just really push yourself to do those things, you'll feel so much more productive, you'll feel so much more motivated and yeah, I just find it really, really helps on those days where you just don't really feel like doing anything. Pushing yourself to do it is the hardest part, but once you've done it, you feel so rewarded. I hope you've had a lovely weekend and I'm sending you all the happy, positive vibes for the brand new week ahead. 
I love you guys so much. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who